Maintaining correct belt tension is critical. In fact, it's the single most important factor in the life of your belt and other drive components. Until recently, all cars and trucks used a movable accessory, adjustable idler, or automatic tensioner to provide necessary belt tension, and most still do. But starting in 2004, a new self-tensioning V-rib belt technology was introduced into the original equipment market that eliminates separate tensioning devices on a secondary accessory drive, like the AC compressor, power steering, or water pump. The AC compressor belt on this Subaru is an example. For car manufacturers, self-tensioning belts allow for greater flexibility in engine design, and they reduce the overall complexity of the primary belt drive system. Gates has been manufacturing these patented stretch-fit micro-V belts for the OE market for years. And Gates is the first to make them available in the aftermarket. For automotive technicians, installing self-tensioning belts is a radically different process than standard V-rib belts. Here's why. Stretch-fit belts, by design, are sized slightly shorter than standard V-rib belts and may require a special tool for the installation. They look the same, but belt chemistry and construction is dramatically different. Gates patented twist lock tensile cords enable the belt to stretch slightly during installation. Once installed, they maintain the correct amount of tension for the life of the belt. Using a standard V-rib belt in place of a stretch fit belt is like using vegetable oil in your engine. They are not interchangeable. Gates makes these special belts available to the aftermarket. Unfortunately, other suppliers continue to recommend standard belts for these applications, so use caution. Installation instructions are printed on the inside of each stretch fit belt sleeve. It is very important that these instructions are followed correctly to avoid damaging the belt. Each application can have a slightly different set of instructions, so be sure to look at the inside of the sleeve each time you replace a stretch fit belt. Instructions are also available at gates.com forward slash stretch fit. To find the correct installation instructions, look for a special letter on the belt sleeve or application catalog. The letter H above the part number on this belt sleeve indicates the correct set of instructions that can be found online. A special tool is needed for Subaru and available from your Gates servicing supplier as part number 91031. The good news is that the tool is reusable on Subaru applications. Let's take a look at the correct installation procedure for stretch fit belts on this 2010 Subaru Impreza with a 2.5 liter engine. For safety, always start the installation by turning off the vehicle and disconnecting the electric fan on the radiator. If you do not have the mounting tool, do not use a screwdriver or other tool to pry on the belt drive. It will damage the belt and possibly the pulley. Begin by removing the alternator and power steering accessory drive belt. Next, cut the old self-tensioning belt off with a utility knife or a pair of side cutters. Self-tensioning belts cannot be reused, so cutting them off makes the most sense. Now. Place the new stretch fit belt around the AC compressor pulley and under the leading edge of the crankshaft pulley. Next, place the stretch fit guide tool between the AC and the alternator mounting bracket and tighten the bolt securely. On the crankshaft pulley, place the belt ramp tool over the groove pulley with the edge guides facing out and up against the pulley. To hold the belt ramp tool in place, Use the U-shaped belt ramp retainer by sliding the longer arm through the slot in the belt ramp tool with the lower or shorter portion of the retainer going through the underside of the pulley. Now, route the belt down under the long arm of the U-shaped belt ramp retainer. Pull the belt over the belt ramp tool edge that is on the top of the pulley. Make sure the belt ribs are properly aligned in the compressor pulley grooves. Rotate the crankshaft clockwise as you guide the belt around the pulley by allowing it to slide over the installation tool. This will be a very snug fit and seem as if the belt is too short, but keep turning the crank. Remove the installation tools and check to be sure the belt is aligned properly in all the pulley grooves. Rotate the crankshaft an additional 360 degrees clockwise and recheck the belt to make sure the ribs are properly aligned in all pulley grooves. Finish by checking the belt wear on the standard accessory drive and replace the belt and tensioner as needed. 
Gates recommends replacing all the belts and the tensioner at the same time. By design, these components wear at the same rate. Reconnect the electric fan and the installation is now complete. If you need further assistance with installation, call the Gates Tech Line at 303-744-5651. This and other helpful videos can also be found on the Gates website www.gates.com forward slash stretch fit. Gates continues to be the leader in the automotive aftermarket by providing the most highly advanced belts found in the marketplace.